Hi everybody, I am Predator Bullet, and we are here with Cave Story. Apparently we're playing the Christmas edition. Uh, yeah. So, uh, this is a very, uh, this is a very popular indie game, and I'm still going to listen to this title music. Someone's transmission. Connecting to network. Log on. Starting IN chat. How's it going? Sue. Are you there? It's me. It's Kazuma. I, I was somehow able to escape, but I got lost. I'm in a shelter without anything inside. If you're reading this, please answer. Please? And here's us. Now, this is Christmas edition because I'm recording this around about Christmas. So let's uh, let's save. So yeah, this is this is Cave Story. So there we go. Down. Sorry, I haven't played this game in a day. Now we can't actually go over to the right. We've only got three hit points right now. Good way to start. I was about to say we have to be very careful and go slow to avoid dying from hitting the spikes, but right as I'm in the head. Midway through the sentence, I get myself killed. Seems to be a running theme with me. Ah, ah, ah. That was close. Be careful of the bats. And that right there is a health capsule. What does it do, you might ask? Oh, it's a life capsule. Max life increase right there. Now, I'm going to try to 100% this game. Other than probably like the boss mode. Because I, I need to go back. I'm going to be getting every ending for- OH JEEZ! For all of you. Although, the, the, just the amount of difference in what you have to do to get the best ending from all the- is, Yeah, he's- Also, from the present! Treasure chest! Obtained the Polar Star, the most basic weapon of the game. Someone's transmission. Searching for Sue. One suit found. So, answer me. They're looking for you. Are you asleep or what? Your brother is so lonely. Alright, let's continue. Alright, continuing on. Because of the difference between what you have to do to be able to get the, the best ending compared to the poor ending and the normal ending, I'm going to have to actually beat the game twice for all you guys. But I'm not going to be showing the entirety of the second playthrough. Because you have to go a ways back to be able to and do a lot of things different to be able to get the best ending. And I'm only going to be showing what you have to do and the differences it causes. And, uh, well, yeah. And then, uh, for the poor ending and the best ending, I can do those both on one playthrough, because the poor ending, I can just revert back to the save, because it's only, there would only be one save away from just changing one thing in order to get the best ending. Or, not the best ending, but the normal ending, I mean. Sorry. Alright, let's continue. Type something, will you? Starting over here. I'm so hungry uh, that I even ate a cockroach. Well, just kidding. Of course. Of course. But, oh, that he was saying, if he has to, he will, though. Alright, give me the key. No way. Are you gonna try to prep that Sue girl? She's an outsider. Sue is a good person. I won't betray Sue. Toroko. Next time that doctor shows up, eh, someone else will be taken away. If Sue isn't turned in, you could be in danger. But, but, just hand over the key. And I scare everybody and knock him over. Oh, Sue. You're not the enemy. I thought you were one of them. My name is King. I'm the number one in this village. Though I say number one doesn't really mean much. There are only six of us left in the village. Well, really, including some seven. But she's not one of us. She's just an outsider that came into our village. Alright, well, let's save again. So, we are here in a village with these things that 
but we don't actually know what or who they are. Open the treasure chest, the map system. Something's written. As long as you always maintain a sense of exploration, you will someday find the way out. This is my hope. Well, nothing in here. I guess we'll, be, I guess we'll go check there later, see if anything's changed, and we've gotten something or another done. Let's see, it's locked. Let's probably head back up. over to the left. Let's see us down here back in this doorway. Reservoir. Alright, let's see what's over here. That's the only fish of that species. There's an achievement for not killing it, by the way. Sue? Yeah, Sue. That cute girl who lies hiding in Arthur's house. She was thinking of him in the village. She recently filmed the worst of her. I don't think she's very fond of us. So she hates her in the village, but she's a member of the as the rest of us. So, these are creatures known as Limigas, so they're not human, but they are intelligent, like humans. Which means, so that begs the question, how can Sumi Cosmo's brother, or sister, if, uh, they, uh, if one, they're both a, a different species? Well, I guess we'll find that out later or something. Hand over that key. No. It's kind of sad that he managed to get run over by him. I'm not even going to bother talking to him this time. Alright, well, that right there to the left was Arthur's house, we have no way of getting into there. Right, let's check out the check-in. You jerk! Yeah. Yep, I, I don't know, I'm not sure if I have the achievement, but I think, but there is an achievement for getting killed by him. Yeah, it's probably not the best time because I have to save in a while, so, yeah. You know. Why? Oh, help me, help me. Huh? You're not the doctor. Oh, sorry about that. That just is a cruel she was up in the village of Christmas and Mimica. You had times killing someone. Doctor, kill my older brother. Ah! Attendant! Kept it up for me. Sue gives me. I don't want him anymore. He gets bent out of shape when I soon I get along. Please keep it. I don't trust this. Oh god, the Kool-Aid man. I found you. It's no use hiding from me. I got the nose of a clever hair. Indeed. Okay, now somebody else. Yes, he has the nose and the brain of a dog. Misery. I found her first. You two, you're with the doctor. You must be Sue. The right doctor has summoned you. Come along with me. Huh? But well, I'm not Sue. And now Torso is taken away. Uh, being interrupted as being Sue. Alright, and this is Balrog. The incarnation. He is the child of the Kool-Aid Man and, and the brave little toaster. Just don't even think about that, actually. Yeah, we... If, if you fight him, you, really the only reason to fight him is you can get XP for your weapon, but you'll lose more than you'll gain unless you do it falsely, unless you're like me and already lost all your weapon XP. Basically, the way this game works is every time you get hit, you lose some weapon XP. Every time you kill something, you get XP that you collect, and it will, and it will help upgrade your weapon. You get a maximum of three levels on your weapon, and you can't just gain a bunch of experience and then never be able to lose a third level because you're too much to be able to lose. I'll remember this! Although, because that's an optional boss fight, that's only that's one of, I believe, two boss fights in the game that gives you weapon XP. The others do not. Which, uh, yeah. Alright, well, I guess we better go find something else to do now that Huh? Chalk has been connected. Bah. Now the only girl in the entire village is Sue. I'll be honest, the first time I played this game, I did not realize Chalk was a girl, but regardless, let's continue on and finish our this episode. Alright. Game save. Alright, so with that, with Chalk and I kidnapped and us learning very little of the amazing plot to come, that's the end of this episode of Cave Story. Next time, hopefully, we will find out exactly what's going on plot-wise, and who knows, maybe we'll say four or something, but, uh, something or another will happen, can't really spoil it yet, but, either way, I 